What up, what up, fam? It has been a minute. It's your boy, Michael, and this, of course, is Chicago Cannabis Chillin' with Michael. I am back. We are back. The entire family's back in Chicago after an extended, like, two-week road trip to Colorado. So many stories to tell. Um, you know, in t my intention, one of them anyway, obviously going out to Colorado, we both had, um, you know, Debbie and I both had a list of dispensaries we wanted to hit up. I obviously was in search of some quality rosin products on the concentrate side. But, you know, I really, I, I'd hoped to connect with, a, uh, with an artisanal grower and, you know, just whatever. So we had all these hopes and dreams. First stop was our cookie store in Denver. <laughs> I want to say, folks, um, all love to cookies. Burner, you're a master marketing guy. Your store is beautiful, as are all the stores. We dropped, I think, I want to say somewhere around $800 at your store because it was our literally our first stop in Denver. Here's the deal, guys. You're in Colorado. Everyone there essentially is really a you know, the, you go to the mom and pop dispensaries, you go to the midsize, whatever. Everybody essentially has got some pretty amazing products. We have got a lot of flour still left over from cookies. Um, you know, what can I say? It was all right. I wish I had not been such a fanboy and run like a girl with a, my dress up over my head. When I went, uh, when we got into Denver, we drove, um, you know, so we were, we were excited the whole way from, uh, our, our midway point going to Colorado was um, <clears throat> a small town in Nebraska. Yeah, so we were super excited for the last four hours while we drove into Colorado. We did a pre-order, we had all these things. Of course, we had to do the cereal milk, the Gary Payton, the Georgia Pie, the London Pound Cake 75, and the Honey Buns uh, for flour. So the strains were all great, man. No complaints, nice and terpy. Buds looked definitely like they're doing kind of a machine trim deal, whatever. It, it is what it is. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time with cookies. We had a great experience there, lots of fun. I don't know that I would recommend, especially if you're in Colorado or you know California is the same deal. I don't know, man, it's a lot of marketing hype. I guess that's not a shocker. Their flowers pretty decent. When it's here in Chicago, we get very excited because we don't see it very often. When you're in a state like Colorado or California, you've got heavy duty competition from people that really, really know their shit, how to grow great flower every single time. Um, you know, so it is what it is. With that in mind, um, I want to tell you what happened to us and the reason for this video, because we are going to feature somebody and that is the good folks at Verde Natural and their collaboration partner for their concentrates on the rosin solventless hash tip, the good folks at DabLogic. There we are, Julian at DabLogic. And then, you know, I, I'm just gonna say, you guys, um, we were driving through, through Boulder, you know, we had kind of journeyed up to some of the other towns. We were based in Denver. Um, we spent about seven days there, uh, probably too much time in the city. We definitely now know to spend, Debbie knew, to spend a lot more time in the mountain towns where the vibe of Co uh, Colorado really, really lives and breathes. Um, we, saw, we found so many cool little dispensaries, but we were driving by this one. It looked like a quaint little mom and pop dispensary and kind of like a Pueblo looking building in Boulder on a side street on Pearl Street called Verde Natural, and we were looking to buy some carts. So we scampered in there, and we were looking to actually buy some pre-rolls too, as I remember. So we walked in, um, talked with this uh, lovely lady named Cardi, who uh, is coming to Chicago, and she's gonna stop by our store soon. We'll be on the lookout for you. Can't wait for you to come and visit and see what we're doing. But um, she was talking a lot about her flour, and we had just bought like two ounces from another dispensary the day before, so we just wanted some pre-rolls because we were on the run, just running around Boulder and whatever. So we bought some carts. It turned out that they were these amazing solventless carts that they do. All right, so solventless guys, as we know, rosin carts, it basically is just heat and pressure. There are no solvents involved There's in the extraction process. Um, it is a connoisseur 
uh, experience when you're smoking solventless or rosin products in general. So we picked up two of these carts and I'm like, oh my God, these are next level, right? And there's the cool little insignia, which is now on my rig. So you know, I love them. But, um, and then, you know, as we were walking out, we just had these carts. She had a pre-roll that was uh, interesting, genetic wise, very interesting. I want to say it was a chem dog crossed with a Laotian from Laos. Uh, land race, right? Very close to a Vietnamese land race or a Thai land race. So I was super enticed about that. Um, it was just super, super, super low. And I want to say just quickly that the numbers, you know, it's not always about potency, guys. I've, I've said that before. It's like only watching a movie because of a certain actor. Great actors make horrible movies. Hello, Al Pacino or Robert De Niro. I'm sorry to say that, but it's true. So, you know, potency is one thing. However, when flour is grown perfectly um, with what these folks do, and I'll get into that in a second, the percentages, as long as it's somewhere, you know, in the, you know, low 20s or above, or even slightly below that, I'm going to be a buyer if it's grown a certain way and has a certain look and represents a certain terpene profile. That's where it's at. That's the medicine that we look for. It's not always like it's got to be over 30%. I am guilty of doing that, certainly. You know, that's that's just cool to see when somebody gets those numbers so far up, but obviously if you're a concentrate guy, you're used to that, so. But we bought a gram of flour on the way out, based on Cardi's recommendation. It was the Coal Creek Kush, just one gram. I rolled it up the next day for, you know, we were going hiking in El Dorado Springs. It blew our socks off with the visuals, the way it looked, so we decided to go back we went back several times, as it turns out, to their store in Denver as well, and to their store back in um, Boulder. And, you know, really, I think, made some connections there. But I just want you guys to see this for two seconds. This is their grape pie. I don't know if that's coming across. I, just, I know, this is so wonky, you guys. So what I'm trying to get across here, this great pie, by the way, is coming in at around 23, 24%. We also got some punch cookies, which is a purple punch crossed with cookies and cream. Extraordinary flour. The terpenes, the reason I'm showing this, um, you guys, is just I've never seen flour so consistently beautiful. The terpene profile on some of this stuff will knock your socks off. This is their roasted garlic margie. Margie, excuse me. I'm just going to pull a big nug out so you can see this. I mean, literally, it smells like I've got an Italian kitchen all of a sudden in my dining room. It's that intense on this terpene profile. We also picked up some wedding cake because why not it's fantastic everywhere and here it's just extraordinary wedding cake flower beautiful all right and then we picked up some of their triangle kush and you know so we have about two ounces of flour from them i'm just gonna say that you know again i'm not the biggest flour guy but i've smoked more flour in the last week with these guys than I have in quite some time. This is just extraordinarily grown flour. And so what they do, they're using a living soil mixture that's strain specific to every strain. That's their flour. It's extraordinarily beautifully grown. The potency is there. Everything I got is, you know, pretty much in the mid 20s. When I was buying this, they don't like to talk about the potency. The labels in Colorado are a little different. Maybe you all know that. They give you kind of a general spectrum of the potency oftentimes with the genetics and all the other numbers that go with it. Um, it's kind of interesting. That's how it looks. Big old canisters. Um, amazing flower, right? Their partner for concentrates, like I mentioned earlier, is Dab Logic. 
this guy Julian um, found Verde Natural. And Verde Natural's own history, I should say, they're owned by a gentleman named Chuck Blackton. Chuck was the guy that introduced Lemon Skunk to the Dutch coffee house scene and brought a lot of those genetics back with him. Um, he worked a lot in Amsterdam, learning his craft as a grower, and did a deep dive into a lot of genetics there. Came back, did sp I think he spent some time in Humboldt as well, and then decided to settle in Denver, which is where their big store is, and their second store is in Boulder. Um, and these folks from Dab Logic, who are strictly all about solventless extracts and they found each other in this collaboration they do with the Dab Logic, um, you know, oil using Verde Naturals flour, right? So that's the deal. So, you know, a couple of carts still we have to get into. These are both warped cream, which is a warp drive crossed with hazelnut cream. Um, they're very big into that strain in particular. I just want to say hazelnut cream is a, an interesting one. It's a Miami haze crossed with cookies and cream. Um, amazing. Amazing. We have it in a Pax pod as well, in a solventless hash. And I'm going to end this really quickly. Their cartridges, like I say, if you can get your hands on them, I don't. They're not available anywhere but Colorado and Cali. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I don't think they're in Vegas. Um, this is what you're looking for if you're looking for an artisanal experience for flour. Oof. Amazing. And then their cartridges, whether it's a PAX or whether it's a 510 thread cart, the solventless is amazing. I'm just going to open one up so you can kind of see how it looks actually, instead of teasing you guys. This is a brand new one we haven't gotten into yet, but this is their warp drive or warp cream, I should say. I mean, very cool decal right on there. It's literally solventless hash right here in a cartridge exceptional turf profile so smooth it's ridiculous right just amazing so there's that all right now let me just do a quick dab to end this bear with me I can't find my dab tool, bear with me. <laughs> In my pocket the whole time. All right, here we go, guys. This is some of their live rosin concentrate that we left alone because I wanted to do this video when we got home. So. This is their Chem Margi cut. Super funky. Just unbelievable. It's a Chem, I believe this is the Chemi Jones cross with Margi. Um, oh my God, it's just so intense. So this is their live rosin guys. And again, you know, beautiful packaging. Chem Margi, Margi, excuse me. Um, coming in at 83% from Dab Logic. One of the most amazing terpene profiles I've ever had. Let's do a little scoop. Welcome back to Chicago and in Colorado. That's the other thing. I think my future lies west. I'm real cer certain about that, but more on that later. Let's just do this dab and get you guys on your way. Verde Natural Flower collabing with dab logic they press this with heat and pressure and that's all there is to it when you're talking about rosin guys you know they just say it right there it's solventless hash old school phraseology if you will but you know they're actually bringing the science almost retro because Hash making has always been dependent on heat and pressure. That's it. It's only with the extraction processes that we now know with butane and ethanol that folks have been using solvents. Solventless has always been the way to go. And cheers. Glad it's back. Let's get this thing going. 
Let me hypnotize you with my dab logic decal. Ooh. Cheers, there we go. Solventless hash, baby. Ken Margie. So smooth, it really is. It's just got such <coughs> an incredibly clean flavor, much different than, you know, extractions with solvent. <clears throat> so there we are guys Colorado if you haven't been there please get out there if you're a cannabis person I think I'm gonna be moving there we are gonna be moving there in the next year or so that's our timetable now headhunters be aware of me anyway that's all I got for you guys um, if you like what you see <clears throat> hit the like button you want to see more hit the subscribe thank you so much for your time one love. We got a lot more stuff coming up. I think I might just do a flower review on some of the stuff. Anyway, that's it. Very natural. Dab logic. Blew our socks off in Colorado. Talk to you guys soon. See you later. Bye. One love.